Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Happy Knitting Podcast. My name is Julia, I'm coming to you from the UK and today is June 13th, 2024. Welcome to this podcast if you're watching for the first time. I'm recording this for the umpteenth time because I keep making mistakes and I keep coughing and I keep doing weird things and forgetting what I'm talking about. So I've decided to start out again. Um, I'll try to keep this brief, which is difficult because I have so many projects to talk about. But we'll just get through this and I'm recording this on my Thursday lunch break. So I should really get this wrapped up as well. But it just made sense to record today again because we are going away on the weekend. So without any further chat, let's just jump into some knitting. Um, for finished projects, I have finished my shawl. This is the Simon shawl. I still have forgotten the designer, I'm sorry. Um, but everything I talk about will be linked on Ravelry. And also, if you can't use or access Ravelry, please just drop me a comment and I will let you know. So this is the Simon shawl, which mine turned out very long and narrow. Um, I think part of it is the pattern, which I enjoy. I, I like a long, narrow scarf sometimes. And part of it may also be because I played with the numbers to make this work with the hand spun that I was working with. But you can see it's a very long shawl. It is much long, longer than my wingspan and it has this gradient in it. So I used a gradient hand spun that I spun myself. I told you last week it was a two ply, but no, it was a three ply. I chain plied it. It was some kind of luxurious blend of, was it merino, silk and yak, something like that. And I paired it with a sort of mostly neutral brownish shade of the Fiberco Ambu, which I had left over from a sweater project. And yeah, as you can see, it turned out really well, I think. Um, again, I played with the numbers to make it work with my gauge and all of that. Um, but I really enjoy this slip stitch, garter stitch texture. It just feels really nice. And with the sort of fancier yarn blend, like the different fibers in it, it's just so drapey and so lovely. So I think this will be great for autumn. Um, you saw me wearing it. I just wrapped it once, but you can actually wrap it twice. So I think this should be quite good for commuting and all of that. Uh, come autumn, which I mean, it's June and we are still wearing sweaters and it is freezing. So I could theoretically wear the snow. There you go. Summer in the UK, but I enjoy it. I prefer this very much to hot weather, so I won't complain. So yeah, Simon Show is done. Um, let's talk about some works in progress. Very quickly, I'll go through some of the older works in progress and then I'll chat to you about two new cast-ons that I have made. So I have been working on my base camp shrug by Sosu Knits, who is Susanne Sommer. She's running a cow for this, I think, all of summer. So if you do want to join in, that would be very fun. Um, it is it is on two small needles. or I just need a longer cord on my needles really to show it to you. Apologies for that. Um, but it is a brioche cardigan or shrug, whatever you want to call it, that basically starts out like you're knitting a shawl and then eventually I will add sleeves. So I'm still in the shawl kind of part right now. It's very interesting to look at. It is all brioche on fingering weight yarn, but I am really enjoying it. I am just very aware that this is going to involve a lot of stitches towards the end. It already now... The rows seem quite long and I have a lot more of this to go. But I'm still absolutely in love with the color choice for these. This is, this is all from Stash. I am using Holt Super Soft um, in brass, JC Rennie in, I don't know, some kind of light lilac colorway. And then Woolly Knit British Wool in the Blue John Nep colorway. And all of these are cone yarns, so they are quite affordable. They were more affordable at the time that I bought them as well. I've just balled some of them up to make it more portable to work with because I was carrying around three cones and it was ridiculous. So that is the base camp, camp shrug. I have also made some progress on my uh, linen quill no frills sweater by Petite Knit. Um, I talked about this last week, so I won't go into detail. 
I'll just say that I am dropping stitches. Oops. Uh, I have split for the sleeves and I am now working on the body. I don't think I will make the sleeves match with the body. I haven't 100% decided yet. I think I'm, I mean, I should really just do whatever I want, but I am a little bit a control freak with that sort of stuff. So I think I might make matching sleeves. Like, so the two sleeves match, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make that match the body. And it also will depend on yarn quantities because I just have like a random box of leftovers and I think two or three single skeins of linen quill. And I'm just doing random stripes with the color combination that I love so much. So that is my no frills sweater. Very, very briefly, I have finished one sock and finished the heel of the second sock of my um, summer bloom socks. So this is a yarn from Under the Olive Tree Knits, or is it just Under the Olive Tree? Under the Olive, olive Tree yarn? Something like that. Under the Olive Tree um, in the colorway Bloom on her sparkle base. Um, this is a new to me dyer. I found their yarn at a yarn event uh, called Woolen Garden City in January, I think. So I have turned the heel during a meeting today and I just need to finish the last foot and then this will be done. So as we're going away, maybe I'll bring this. Or maybe I'll bring my other sock where I have more knitting to do. I haven't decided yet. And we have a soccer or football knitting coming up. So we will see. But I have made some progress on this. And this is also my commute knitting. So I took this to London with me this week. Um, Very, very briefly, I have also whoop, made a fair bit of progress on this giant granny square blanket that I am making out of puff flower crochet yarn um i mean it's not huge but it is getting bigger and um, the rows are getting quite long this is just my relaxation project like if i need something to really calm me down um doing granny stitch um does the trick really well um and with this yarn because it comes already like wound and knotted and everything for you you, 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 you don't have to do anything you don't have to manage your colors you just crochet your little heart out, and that's what I like to do. So I have made some progress on this. Um, okay, should we talk about the more exciting new works in progress? So you may remember last uh, week I chatted to you about my hand-spun Shetland. This is a marled yarn, so I spun one ply in the white and one ply in the natural grey. I spun it the long draw. Um, and this, the bats that I spun from were quite sort of nippy. So this got, this has got a bit of that sort of characteristic to it. And I was swatching with this on different needles. And then in the end, I decided to add some mohair. So this is from Beehive Yarns. I got this, I think during her Christmas sale. And this, uh, I think the colorway is Wisp on a mohair and silk base. I thought this was going to be more sort of lilac, lavenderish, but it's basically just a very plain, but very nice gray. So I decided to pair these two. And again, I, I did some swatching and you will laugh. I am making a hand spun lento because I just keep reusing the patterns that I enjoy again and again and again because I'm really lazy. And if I know that a pattern works for me, why why not like make it twice or three times or five times or eight times? Who knows? Um, I am very lazy like that. Um, I just want to knit and I am risk averse. So if I know like a design works for me, I'm just going to keep making that all over again. So this is where we are at. Um, I'm trying not to drop stitches on this one. Um, as you can see, the texture is quite interesting. Uh, from afar, it looks a little bit like a boucle yarn, but then looking at it more closely, I do really like it because I wanted to do something where you can still see the marled nature of the yarn. I, I didn't want to just, you know, overblow it completely, but I think maybe this works better. I think it still comes through, so it's nice and fluffy. It's got an interesting texture, but you can still sort of see the 
like wooliness of the natural colors and I really really like it. So yeah I haven't done an awful amount of this but I have like finished the ribbing I've done the um, short row so now I can just go round and round until I split for the sleeves. It's coming across very fluffy. It's not that fluffy, but I think it'll be really useful to have in autumn and winter because it's a, a woolen Shetland yarn, so it's quite light, but it's going to be very warm with the mohair. So yeah, that is cast on number one. And then cast on number two. I had no business casting this on, but at the same time, it is June, and I was like, if I want to knit summer tops, which I have somehow decided to do, I need to make them now because now is the time, in theory, to wear summer tops. She says wearing a 100% British wool jumper because it is freezing outside. Um, but yes, um, in theory, now is the time for summer tops. So I decided to cast on and I think I forgot the label of this yarn. But I got this yarn a couple of months ago. I just stumbled across it at a John Lewis. This is a Rowan yarn. This is Rowan Revive, which is a mostly recycled cotton yarn. So, and I was honestly, I was sort of surprised just by how affordable this was. This came in a hundred gram bowl. So I bought three hundred gram bowls. It wasn't that expensive. It was definitely cheaper than their regular cotton yarn, like the Summer Light and all of that. And yeah, it's a it's a chainette construction, which you may or not may not be able to see. Nope, it's not doing it. Well, you'll have to believe me then. Um, so I bought this with the intention of either making a tolster or uh, an anchor top. Again, I am so predictable. I just make the same things all over again, because I made an anchor's top by Petite Knit before. In fact, I am wearing an anchor sweater today. Um, I had, I just have the one pattern by Petite Knit. I don't see the point in buying another pattern for the t-shirt if it's essentially the same thing at the same gauge. Um, but I have turned this into a t-shirt in a cotton yarn before and it worked really well. So I am doing it again. So again, tiny needles. Can you see? I have been stressed. I have not had the time to put things on appropriate needles. But we have an anchor's top. Look at it. So again, this is a pattern by Petite Knit. I really like it. Um, and it's basically just columns of ribbing. And then once I've, I think I have one more ribbing section to go and then it'll be really smooth sailing in terms of just stocking it in the round, tiny sleeves. Um, we'll see how far I get with three balls of yarn. This is a DK weight yarn. I have um, 300 grams. But yeah, I really like it so far. I was interested with the um, chainette construction, if it might be easier on my hands because I don't enjoy working with cotton. And so far, I think it is better. I think I am liking it. And the texture comes out really nice. It sort of reminds me a bit of like the Drops Bell, which isn't a chainette yarn, but it has a similar sort of feel to me. Um, yeah, so I quite like it. I remember they didn't have a lot of colors for this. So if Rowan come back next year and have this in like 15 more colors, I think I might really enjoy this yarn. Um, as it is, the other colors didn't really appeal to me, like not massively anyways. But it's interesting to try new yarn. I'm always on the lookout for more summer yarns because I just don't have that much experience with them compared to woolly yarns. So yeah, Anchor Stop is in progress and I think I'm definitely taking this um, down to Kent this weekend. All right, uh, so that is what I have been knitting on and now I have the opposite problem of uh, that to before. Before I recorded and I was just not getting my point across and my video was all over the place so I decided to start again and be really concise and structured and I have done that but now it's been a really short recording but oh well. What I can do is I can show you some club yarn. Do you want to see some club yarn? So this is um, the, that was my water bottle. This is the Indie Yarn Club Club. Um, so the Indie Yarn Club is a company in the UK um, that I actually found through a viewer and they have, they have yarn that you can just buy in stock 
but they also have these different clubs. I think they have a blanket club and a neon club and a speckles club. And they have, I think they call it a tester box or something, where you get um, three mini skeins per month. And I am not sponsored. I'm just telling you about it. And I'm buying this with my own money. So I've had that um, tester box for a couple of months and I'm finding it really, really fun. So I'm going to show you last month's uh, club first, if I can get myself organized. So this is the May club. Um, and I got these three skeins, which I think is really, really fun. So this is the neon club. This is the blanket club, which I think is always a sort of solid color. And then this is the speckles club. And they always kind of coordinate. And if you remember, I made a pair of scrappy socks a couple of months ago. And they were also using these minis. So I think they're really, really fun. And then because I got some birthday monies, uh, money last month. I'm so confused today. I decided to also treat myself to a full skein of the Neon Club. Because I, yeah, I don't know. It just, it just felt like something I wanted to do. So for this month. I have both the mini set and the single skein of Neon Club. So look away if you don't want to see it, because I'm going to show it. So these are the mini skeins, and again, very neony. How beautiful is this? This made me think I should have gotten the Speckles Club, because this is just me in a nutshell. Like, this is so stunning. But I actually really like all of them. So this time around, this is the Blanket Club, and this is the Neon Club, which obviously is neon but also has these really fun speckles and I think this is so fun and then because I have the neon club in a full skin it's basically the same thing obviously and my camera is blowing out um, but I can't really blame it it is a bit darker in real life it is really beautiful I really like it and I haven't mentioned I got all of these on her sock base which is a nylon free sock base so it's a hundred percent superwash merino and i think the merino is treated in a way that is not as awful to the environment so i'm going to be experimenting i don't really have any problems with socks wearing through so i think this high twist superwash merino should actually be okay for socks for us but i will see um i was going to use this for socks for kai because i feel like it just screams kai but he hasn't really been interested so i may make some socks for me but I'm very excited about these and I need to think of a good plan for these minis because at the moment I'm just collecting them. I don't want to use them because they are so pretty. But I may also have their advent calendar for December. So I need to think of projects. I just There's so many things that I want to do with these minis that I end up doing none of them because I can't decide. Like, do I want to do a sweet shop blanket by Laura Penrose, which I think, how fun would that be? Or I think she has her star one, is it Stella Blanket, coming out soon-ish. Which, I mean, just imagine a star with these neon colors. How fun would that be? But also, I want to crochet them into something. And I want to hold mini stubble. And I want to make a granny square and a granny stripe. And I want to make lots of tiny squares. I just can't decide. So for the moment, I'm just keeping them. But I should really get uh, cracking with these at some point. Because... I shouldn't be collecting things just for the sake of collecting things. But they're so pretty, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I could also make lots and lots of really fun scrappy socks. So yeah, we will see. But there is some fun yarn. And actually, why don't I just show you her card? Wouldn't that make it easier? No, I can't show you the card because there is a code on it. Let's just show it to you like this. In the yarnclub.com. And again, I am not sponsored. I'm just chatting to you about yarn that I like. All right, you guys. Uh, I think that's it in terms of the knitting content. In terms of live content, it's always sort of the same. Um, it's been very busy. We're um, sort of getting set for my son to start school in September, which is crazy. Uh, I'm going to be complaining about the school system for about the next 12 to 15 to 100 million years. Um, but I will try to keep the complaining to a minimum. Uh, I will say my son, his school seems absolutely lovely. Um, we're going away to see family uh, in Kent this weekend, which should be really, really nice. My son is very excited. 
Um, and yeah, it's just been a busy period. It's been really busy at work. In fact, I need to get back to work because it is just, it's just so busy. But at some point your head just stops working because I do a lot of financy bits. And at the end of the day, my brain is just not doing its brain thing anymore. Um, and yeah, that's basically all we've been up to. I want to do more knitting. I keep buying all these patterns because I, I want to be knitting, but I can't. So I just buy patterns instead, which is stupid. But, oh, well. Um, thank you so much for joining me today and listening to me ramble about knitting and yarn. Um, as per usual, do let me know what you're working on because I always find that really interesting. And about half of the time I'll be like, oh, yes, I want to do that too. And then I remember that I don't have the time to do everything. But, oh, well. Um, so, yeah, I hope wherever you are in the world that you are safe and healthy and doing well. And hopefully you have some lovely yarn to play with. And I will chat to you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.